Now, an article appeared in the UK press recently extolling the purchasing power of Chinese shoppers and crediting them with boosting the economy of the capital city, London, during the recent Christmas sales. It said record numbers of shoppers from China spent on average £2,700, that's about $3,600 each in London. Now, high-end retailers like Selfridges saw thousands of Chinese lining up to get their hands on discounted luxury brands. Retail analysts in the UK said that despite the economic downturn globally, Chinese shoppers are spending more on luxury products than British shoppers. The tourists uh, tend to focus on luxury brands like Gucci, Fendi and Louis Vuitton, which are cheaper in the UK anyway than in China, even when there aren't sales on. Well, uh, this piece of news has been widely reported by Chinese media and it stirred up quite a bit of discussion on the internet about the Chinese weakness for luxury products and also where all the cash to buy them comes from. So, for more details on the reaction to this massive shopping spree, let's cross over to the newsroom now where our researcher Julia Liu has been following the chat. So, Julia, first of all, can you give us a brief idea of what's being said about this phenomenon? Oh, well, first of all, I have to emphasize uh, this is something that happened in another country, not in mainland China. And uh, interestingly, uh, this seems to have embarrassed many net users who feel a little ashamed about the display of uh, conspicuous wealth. Uh, for this poster says on caixun.com, it seems that it's something that Chinese people should feel really proud of. Look how rich we are. But in fact, this is just an embarrassment that all foreigners will make fun of. Well, Ning Buxin says on Sina.com, I'd rather not buy under such circumstances, no matter how big the discount. I think the process of buying luxury products should be unhurried and graceful. I cannot see any grace in such people, even though they carry a Birkin bag. But uh, of course, not all the net users agree. For example, uh, Liu Part Rabbit says on Weibo.com, um, I didn't actually go there, but it's just that I'm too lazy to line up. But I don't feel there's anything shameful about lining up to buy something I like. I believe that those who criticize people in the pictures are just jealous for not able to afford luxury products. And uh, there are also some posters that mention another factor that may explain this craze. Uh, Zhang Zhengping says on ChinaNews.com, The biggest reason that these people buy luxury products abroad is tax. The same item can cost a double in China after adding customs duty, consumption tax and value added tax. Oh well, He Pang Pang IZS thinks it's plain old business. A few of these Chinese people really buy the products for themselves. A lot of them actually sell the products to China to earn money from the price difference. Okay, well, taxes and, and the price gap would certainly explain this spree in London. But, uh, Julie, it has to be said, franchises selling these luxury brands are also here. They're popping up all over China, even in smaller towns. And uh, they certainly seem to sell enough to survive. So it just can't be only the difference between prices. Yes, Fergus, you're right. Uh, it certainly uh, is a fact that uh, many of these brand name shops are opening up here and uh, they wouldn't do that unless it was worth their while. Uh, here are a few figures to give you a general idea. Uh, according to a report by Bain and Company, uh, the annual increase in consumption of luxury products is 8% uh, internationally, 12% in the US and just 6% in Europe. But in China, that figure is 30%. And what's more, uh, China has already surpassed the U.S. and uh, in 2010 became the second largest consumer of luxury goods. And it's predicted that uh, it will probably surpass Japan as number one in a few years. Well, uh, this has led to many questions online. This poster has this series of to-the-point questions on Xinhuanet.com. How could the purchasing power be so strong in a country whose people's annual income is just one thirteenth of Americans? And who's supporting this luxury product's consumption? Do the people buy it out of the recognition of the brand or simply to show off? Uh, well, first, who buy such products? Uh, the report we mentioned just now say that uh, the bulk of people that buy luxury products in China are on average 25 years younger than those in the U.S., uh, or mainly around 25 to 28. And uh, it seems some posters are pretty certain of who exactly these young people are. Fan Mian Jiao Dao Yuan says on Sina.com. 
There are two groups of people that buy luxury products in China. One is businessmen around 40 uh, who are the first people to succeed in business after the reform and open policy. The other is the children of the rich families or officials. They are usually around their 20s and have uh, studied abroad. Okay, uh, so if that's who the buyers are, is there any more about just why there's such an obsession to have these luxury products? What's the motive? Uh, yes, quite a bit. Well, one word that's frequently mentioned in all these posts is uh, vanity. For example, uh, Su says on Caixin.com, if you compare the consumption habits of foreigners and Chinese people, you see that foreigners are more concerned with quality and practicality of the products, while Chinese care more about the brand effect. They equate that famous brand with the symbol of social status. It's more for showing off for them to buy luxury products. Well, this poster has this analysis on the same website. China is in a period of rapid development of its economy. This leads to Chinese people to a stage of changing their ideas about consumption. Some nouveau rich people who are not confident of their social status are eager to find a way to prove their wealth. In a word, the consumption model is not natural enough, and it gives rise to people who rush to buy luxury products just to prove themselves. Uh, and then this poster identifies another group of brand consumers. Liang Xiaoyun says on Sina.com. There are some young white-collar workers who earn no more than $1,000 a month, but their closets are filled with Dior, Gucci, LV, and Burberry clothes and bags. It has a lot to do with accommodating what their neighbors has. And in addition, the values of our society are complicated, and the value of the luxury brands is twisted in China already. Well, some posters mention another reason that may give rise to the brand fever. Haitai says on Weibo.com, uh, Chinese people believe strongly that courtesy demands a reciprocity, and gifts are usually needed in business occasions. Actually, half of these luxury goods are bought as presents. And uh, finally, Bai Xiaofei says on CNJ.com, I sincerely hope that Chinese people don't just try to keep up with the U.S. and Europe on a material level. Some psychological improvement is needed. People should not only know how to make money and how to spend money, but also how to be a responsible person. Well, no arguing with that. Uh, thanks for that, Julia.